I had a dream to ride horseback from Canada all the way to my home in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Easy, right? 16,000 kilometers, some of the worst topography in the Americas, and three horses to take care of the entire way. When I told people about my idea, they called me crazy, they called me a lunatic, they called me a madman, they called me an idiot. <laughs> but on July 8, 2012, the Calgary Stampede sent me off, along with the Royal Mounted Police. And this was one of the most special days of my life. Because at that moment, it didn't matter how far I got. I could have ridden one day out of Calgary, but I was riding out of Calgary. I was taking the first step on a trip of 16,000 kilometers. And two years before this, I didn't have anything. And those two horses, Frenchie and Bruiser, were given to me. The pack saddle, the hats, the boots, the cameras, the funding, everything. In Nicaragua, I stayed with a family that had very little. In my eyes, my Western mentality of things, they were very poor. They lived in a shack, they had nothing. But to them, I was the one that was poor. Because I didn't have my family, I didn't have a roof over my head, I was alone. And they took me in and they had one chicken that they were saving for Christmas time. And they butchered that chicken to feed me that night. And I'm doing your one hour talk at Horse Experience this summer, happening at the Orangeville Event Center, July 13th. It's a month long showcase of horses in Canada and there are over 40 events throughout the month of July. Thank you.